There was a difference last night as Tampa's police department worked to stop the violence. Officers who had complained in February they waited hours for helmets and shields were outfitted quickly. Teams moved through the area swiftly, breaking up crowds. Oh, without a doubt, uh, we're, we're getting better. Uh, uh, over the last couple months, we've had several instances where we had to respond to disturbances, and we're more prepared now than we were then, yes. At a grocery store where looters broke in last night, new security shutters went up today. Only one of the looters was arrested here last night, but a total of five people were picked up by police during the disturbance. The youngest was only 11 years old. Many elderly residents say they feel as if police are finally handling this problem with the necessary force. They have come to grips with with the actions that are going on, and they are doing a better job around here. But these scenes are part of a long-term problem that the mayor says has no short fix. In February, I guess you could say the city got a black eye. What happened last night? Oh, I think the eye perhaps darkened a bit. The city is going through a painful time, and uh, many people believe that there are instant solutions to problems that have uh, been uh, building up for maybe as much as 20 years. While a number of the people I spoke with today say they are glad to see the Tampa Police Department getting tough on this violence, there are still a lot of people who live here who say they feel it is that tough police department that is starting these problems. In Tampa, I'm Kerry Sanders for News 4.